Howdy. Why on earth, King Knight? Why? It's like they just picked the first three bosses from the game and they're like, yeah, that's the best ones. Is that as far as the fans made it in this or what? Gwent. That's our riveting plot. I don't have like a downstab at all, so I can tell. Which is pretty bad. Bad news. Basically, our only attack is the uh, punch fist equivalent move. I must be able to do something here, though, yeah. We get it by cramming into the wall, and then we can have it. This is gonna be rough. <laughs> like, this is straight downgrade from normal Shovel Knight. He just got Wario's tackle and that's all. Um, Spectre Knight was not my favorite either, but Plague Knight had a lot of moves.
Wow. Wow, that's real bad. I can't... Oh my god. It's so unintuitive though, it feels so bad. I hate it. I hope we get some good moves to make up for this nonsense mechanic. What's this? Okay. We've earned a secret. Maybe. I haven't seen anyone playing this, I had no idea what it would be like. It's going in completely unseen here. I got a decent bit of cash to make up for the hundred and something I lost, it's not too bad. <laughs> well, all right. I mean, it's, it's very interesting how wildly different the game changes, but at the same time, man, I don't really like the way this guy plays, so I'm hoping he gets some good stuff soon. Because uh, I do not want to shoulder check my way to victory. Thank you for the sub. And Dark Lily for the current one. Thank you. Oh, I didn't make it. What's up, Jeffrey? Apparently we don't graze the wall upwards if it hits the um, grass. I don't really understand why. But we can't bounce off that. I have no idea how much money I'm going to need, so I'm trying to not skip much of it. Yeah, but what's wrong with bouncing off every wall? Why is that not an okay thing to do? I'm, I'm, I keep pressing buttons thinking I'm gonna find a, a secret regular swing attack or something. Yeah, that sucks. Okay.
Oh, they're not gonna let me have it. Really? Here. Yeah, can you gender swap the king in this? Can I get that big dress? Maybe I should start over. <laughs> That was pretty sweet. I'd wear that. Wouldn't wear this. Wouldn't catch me dead in golden mail. That's too bad. No, I got them all. Missed one of the <laughs> iPhone tokens for the app. All right, we found a house. Hello. King Mom. Mom is charging me quite a bit for this meal. <laughs> Inflation. thousand dollars for a pie. What? Like this is all right, but it's just not I think the pacing is too slow for me. It's just something's wrong with um, the overall feel of it. Just feels bad compared to what regular shovel knight is like. Oh, I guess I should have waited for the platform. And then you lose money still, and that, that doesn't really make any sense. <laughs> uh, never really did, but um, less now than ever before. At least it's not very much. Down, he went into his role. What role? Oh, jeez. Yeah, I don't know what that role is about. I don't understand what it's for.
I have all this mana and no sub weapon yet. We certainly can't cover a lot of distance, but um, they really did just build an entire campaign around one sub weapon that I don't prefer to use. <laughs> I don't think I've missed any of those yet. Whatever they're for. Presumably I'll want those at some point. I think um, Plague Knights had them as unlockable tokens. This guy's kind of a bad character. <laughs> Put that out there. Oh, they're gonna heal us mid battle. That's interesting. No, he's a terrible person, but also he's just a bad character. He's both. got the cards. I see a gem. Destruction. Oh no. We gotta go. My greed. Oh, 
that was pretty good, I guess. I mean, it's been pretty easy. Uh, the, I don't feel like there's a whole lot you can do with this gimmick, so I feel like it's easy for that reason. Not because I'm especially good at charging into things. Hello. Oh no, is there actually a card game in this? Too bad that there's a card game. Oh no. Well, we'll give it a shot. I choose Propeller Rat. Why can't I do that? Oh, because they didn't want me to yet. This is the worst version of Tetra Master of all time. Tetra Master has random stats in it that make it really bad to play, and it takes a whole bunch of grinding anyway. Uh, and they don't ever tell you how to play it, really. And even if you know how to play it, you still can't win. That's, those are the reasons why Tetra Master's bad. I don't know about Triple Triad, though. 14's Triple Triad is actually pretty fun. Except, again, you have to grind to win it, but, you know, that is an MMO, so... It's all right, <laughs> and sort of in that. I mean, the AI straight up cheats in it, and that's not good, but. Well, that sucks too. Yeah, that's right, 14 has NPCs that have unique cards that you have to go beat them to get, pretty much. Pretty much. Um, chances of winning are slim if they're a cheating AI, and it's even worse if you want their rare card. You have to win a million times. I don't know what when did they change Triple Triad, because I was playing it a lot last year. I think, last year. You could level up your deck to be allowed to do that kind of stuff a little bit. I feel like I was allowed to play one of any card I wanted. I had Squall in my deck, and he was busted. At the, at the beat this kid at this game. Oh, this sucks. This is this is not what I was looking for when I loaded this up. If I wanted to play a bad card game, I got Solitaire right here. Like, I don't even know what to start with here. Is
Yeah, I did it wrong. Already. I don't feel like I ever had a chance to get it. That doesn't do me good. Ah, oh, this is gonna suck so much. <laughs> I can't believe this is what this is. Is this really what they did? They didn't make a, a normal platform and they put a crappy card game sort of thing in it? It really is by far the worst version of this. Like, I definitely would rather play the FF9 Triple Triad game than this. I hate it. Hopefully it's free every time. Hopefully it's minimal content. Goody, convince this kid to go lie. Yeah, the cards at FF9 level up, that's right. They sure do. to do here. I don't understand. I guess I have to do that move? I, I don't understand what else I can even do. I'll just end the game and win with two gems. Take that beast. Oh my god, 135. Ugh. Win the game in one turn.
Was it really the wrong move, though? I don't think that that's true. Because you, you lied to me and said it was one turn, but really, it was two turns. They get a turn. It's an inning. It's not a turn. There's a difference. I don't have a card that will solve this. Or I'm just not seeing it. at all what I'm supposed to do here. Frog wins. these one-use consumables? Great! That sucks a lot. I'm not allowed to have the right stuff here. It sucks. I'll take your wisdom. Yeah. Yeah, like, all these animations are cool and shit. It's too bad it's not <laughs> that. I have no idea what to play this. I don't feel like there's an intelligent way to 
play this at all. I got nothing. I got no idea. Is that good? <laughs> huh? Got got him? How come he's allowed to do that? You're allowed to keep shoving? Well, whatever. I guess I lose. I'm not allowed to shove my friend that way some reason. Okay, well, whatever. Good, I lost a Beto. Yeah, I understand. kill his Black Knight card, since it's a real mess. Wait. How come he was allowed to shove my guy out? I guess I don't understand the rules. Oh, he's got a new arrow with a new ability that I haven't seen yet. That's cool. But I'm not allowed to do this, because he has an arrow down there, preventing the shove this way. Thanks, Gandorf. And I can't do this because we're full that way. Oh, come on. Get out of here. What? Turn 22 of this 
journey. Oh my god. Just merciless. Um, I don't see a way out of this jam. Because he's got two of them at all times. I lose again. Can we just restart more quickly now? God, this sucks. <laughs> like, can we just go on with the game? I hate it. It's so far away from what I was looking to play today. Did they market this as this? Did they really do this? I, I'm so surprised that this isn't like a spin-off. And this is in the official DLC for the Kickstarter. This sucks. This is such a bad idea to put into Shovel Knight. It doesn't fit at all. They completely stopped the pace of the action that I was slowly going through, admittedly, but damn. I don't think you should let the community vote on <laughs> Based on this and Isaac, I think the community should stop voting on things. They don't, they're not game designers. They don't know what they want. They just don't understand what's a good game. Hmm. Let's get the shove lord out of the way. I... My concern is that this guy can't defend himself, so I've already messed up. They're all dead anyway, so everything we did was irrelevant because, you know, let the good times roll <laughs> and, and all that. Uh, yeah, great. I'm not sure what to do at all. All of my cards are backwards for what I actually need to be able to guarantee any kind of success here. If I play that, he's going to play as Black Knight and get it. And I can't do anything else successfully anywhere. And the fact that he's making it take a hundred years with his dumb ability is not helping the matter much here. I can't believe I'm not allowed to shove my own skeleton over. That sucks. Oh my god. They're truly locked in now. I can't do anything with my crew up top. We really hecked it. Well, bottom row was made null and void, so hate to see it.
I probably should have used the slime there. Oh my god. Give me a break. an eternal shoving match. I feel like I have no control here. Well, I know the rules. As the game is currently, it's, it's dreadfully bad. Um... Stuck here. And forced to lose. And he's continuing to take my cards, which thankfully he's taking some garbage ones every time, but like... I'm just gonna bail and see if I'm allowed to not play this anymore? My preference is to not play it ever again, but I know that's not gonna happen. I guess we should buy those cheats and just cheat. <laughs> like, and the Hotline Miami cast are off for a ride. Positioned art. Oh, she wants to play this. I'm slapping him down. I'm fairly convinced that the rules are meaningless in this. With the RNG heavy card deck that I have, it means I'm just gonna put them down and uh, we'll get the same result as if I were trying to play, based on my experience last time. Tactics mean nothing. Throw them down. Congratulations, lady. Oh, she doesn't take my cards for some reason. Good for her. She can have them.
Hey. It's items. Thank you. Farewell. Wealth Whirl. Hold down to cry your heart out and restore health. Doesn't seem like a very good world world didn't work on this. Oh well. Better than nothing. Now we're talking. This should be your normal attack, my dude. Gotta have that big clunking hammer all the time. Why didn't they just give him this hammer? What the? Okay, I am supposed to jump off when I'm ready. Hit him with the hammer. <laughs> Hammer's really good. Rat Bombardier.
They're very excited to teach me how to roll. Um... More Lich. That wealth spin isn't very good. It's alright. It's not bringing the donuts in from real far. I think I was hoping. Oh, for fuck's sake. His feet got wet. Like this. I was thinking about destroying that checkpoint, I guess it's good I didn't. I wish you could just jump multiple times. I think this whole thing would be way better if it wasn't restricted in that way. Like right there, I lost all my money because I want, I want to dash so I can hit the enemy because this is my only attack. And then I'm not allowed to do anything to recover because I went too far off the ledge. So I'm just dead. And I don't really understand why they wanted to do it that... I mean, they clearly designed around it. This so far is the worst DLC for this, and it's not even close. Really, the only thing that's really saving it for me at all is Shovel Knight's style animations and such, which is always good.
The ghost wins. My exciting journey. I thought I could bounce off the skull, but I guess not. I didn't notice his crown falls when he dies. Oh, we're way back here now, man. Shovel Knight Co-op was interesting, but yeah, I think it was overtuned as well a little bit. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> We're only in like level four and they're already pulling this shit out. There's definitely a possibility that they're going to give me better controls at some point through some kind of upgrade that will give me something. Double charge, maybe? Like, that would help a lot. It would help so much that it really shouldn't even be an upgrade if it is. I'm, I'm just assuming it is because um, it almost has to be. Okay, they did not make it onto the raft this time for some reason. I think it's because I set them off early. You got your things. Yeah, it was so soon. Thank you. At least the stages are okay. Eh. Not really. <laughs> Special weapons are good. They're better than his main attack. That's how good they are. They all would make a better game as a primary mechanic than his main attack does. That's how ridiculously good they are. Compared to his charge. Like if I just had the, the hammer, if it were just hammer knight, that would be better than what it is. Uh, hammer's real good. The other one, the throne projectiles, whatever. This mouse is okay. This rat. It's not too bad.
Where'd you go? I'm gonna buy the armor upgrade. Because I want to see the crying animation. That's the only reason. It doesn't sound very helpful, because it probably takes forever to get the actual heal happening. Not really. Looks like there's a limit, though. But that's pretty good. Pretty good investment. See you later, friend. <laughs> Enjoy your match. Um, I mean, the regular gameplay is built around, um, they all are different, like, Plague Knight was pretty hard to use, but I ended up liking that a lot. But the regular gameplay here has yet to work out in a good way. Thank you, Proxy, for the sub. Can't, um, there we go. Ugh, I didn't, I didn't land, so I didn't have my charge. The stages seem like they're missing checkpoints, like just straight up, they don't have enough. I don't know why that is either, because that's not Shovel Knight, in my opinion. They, they were really good at checkpointing. It was one of the big cells. That's why I gave it such a hard score, though I probably should go back through some of the first games I rated, including Shovel Knight, and see if um, I rated it correctly. Now that I have the rating system down a lot better in my head on how I actually want to rate things. Um, I gave it a really high score, and part of it was it had a lot of shitty rooms, but all the checkpointing made it not so bad. Had a whole lot of gotchas uh, in, like, Treasure Knight stage. Color Knight, they really wanted you to get taken out quite a bit. And they take your money, also, when they do it. As a joke. Yeah, I don't think Shovel Knight deserves the highest score of any game on the list. That's why I'm thinking I, I visited it too early. I need to play through Mega Man 1 again and actually rate it, because um, it too, like, there's just a couple... I have the expectation that that's going to change the score when I go through it again, because I was so early on those back then. Really, just the first time I was reviewing anything at that point. Castlevania 1. I don't think I gave Mega Man very many points, um, 
that I would. I think it will get more points in general. Like, it's still really short, so it's not going to get too many, but... One thing that happened to it is, like, it didn't have, um... Oh my god, okay. I didn't give it very many points for, like, the concept and stuff, and it deserves more than it got for that. These rats were on his side. Why are they all flying for the enemy? It's ridiculous. Unheard of. I don't even know how I would start with raiding this campaign. It's got some really stupid ideas. The card game doesn't belong at all. But it seems like maybe it's skippable. I don't know how it could be, but maybe it is. Happy animation about me jumping off there. Is that good? Why would I want a card that is the same as the other cards I have? Maybe it has a double arrow. No. No, it does. I, I mean, they let the community vote on King Knight, too, which also, you know, I feel like their hand was forced on some of this by doing that. Like, incredibly uninteresting choice. On placement, all arrows try to push at once. But... Yeah, Polar Knight is the incredibly obvious choice just because of the story that there's obviously something going on with that character that was never explored. That just won't be. <laughs> I guess they didn't vote for that one. And then there's, um, there's like three other choices that I'd put in front of this guy here. rotation.
No, you could leave his size the same and build a game around his hugeness. It's hard to see the enemies here a little bit. Alternate exit. There's a lot of dialogue in this. <laughs> This one doesn't feel very good. I find it incredibly unlikely that I'm going to switch to a sub weapon for parry. Like, just super unlikely, right? Like, it's not gonna happen. Oh, I get this open. There we go. It's a shield, but like, it's a little expensive and it's just not going to be, I don't see it. I'd probably just not do it at all. I probably wouldn't use a sub weapon in the case of that. But it does seem to block everything, like it's like the phase locket, but aggressive. Even contact damage can be reflected. Well, you can attack while the phase lock is on, <laughs> so I'd rather do that than what we got going on here. It probably doesn't protect me from spikes. It doesn't last very long. What do you have? Thank you. I guess I should do the other exit. We have like a Mario World map now where there's double exits on some of these. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. Because it really just means I'm playing the first section of this again.
So I'm not sure what the point is, <laughs> I guess. I guess it's supposed to be a secret. A very obvious one, but secret nonetheless. That um, there's another path and you gotta go look for it. Seems like I'm gonna have plenty of money to spend on whatever I want. Two fifty, unbelievable. I bet there is a way to use that well here when there's no enemies around and it's just awful spikes I can maybe treat it like it is the phase locket a little bit just makes it easier to explore the map. Yeah, we have the Wario Dash. That's definitely what's going on. Um, that's what that charge move is. It doesn't feel as good in this game as it does in that one, but that's what it is. I imagine that this map goes over quite a bit, and we're just stuck in the... Uh, right now we're just stuck in King and Lich Land over and over again. It's getting a little repetitive. But maybe once we beat this guy, we can just leave this place. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and try and do that. But first I'm going to pay the bar five grand. And probably get another badge. We've pleased everyone but the horse. Horses. What the? <laughs> okay. We got the dumbass horn move. It's very expensive. The music is starting to get to me. It's like fake harpsichord. Which is funny because I think I like King Knight's song more than almost all of them in the original. It's one of the best ones. Damn. I missed my opportunity for that pile of cash. It's not too powerful, I would say. The hammer is funnier and therefore better.
I know Plague Knight was rehashing old stages, but I think I, um, I think I liked that. Most of these stages haven't been too bad. Uh, the, the Spectre Knight ones were, with the raft riding, was the worst so far. This content is okay for the shoving, for the love of shoving that it likes to do so much. Friendly Griffith to attack enemies. I don't feel like I like consumables. I don't really understand that one because, um, I guess I'll probably be able to buy another one someday. I'll just use it on the boss if we have another boss fight and see what it is. Come on, I can't cheat on this fight. Alright. Good. He's huge. That's what I like to see. I have an option. Man, thank you. Hey, listen, the confetti hit him twice. Thanks for the sub, Rash, man. Well, they're dropping HP all the time, which is confusingly easy. <laughs> but I'm not going to complain about that.
Okay. Let's uh see a new map. Oh, you're way over there. I feel like the way they designed everything is, um, there's a lot of content here, but it's like, kind of stretched out real hard, as hard as they could. They really wanted to squeeze. There's padding everywhere. I cannot jump out of the goop. Anti-jump goop. me again. I don't know why that one missed. Losing all my money real quick. Are those not real? Now I'm confused. I guess I have to spin on them and I can't ram into them. But I was pretty sure I was ramming into them before. That seems like a pointless distinction. Shovel Knight don't have no ram. He's got punch, but he doesn't get height from it. takes forever. God. I feel like the entire campaign is incredibly unintuitive, and as soon as I stop paying 100% focus, I just forget how everything works. And instantly die to it. Oh. 
<laughs> okay, this isn't much. Oh. I think I left there with less money than I went in with, but you're gonna have that, I guess. I don't think I can- I don't think I have the patience to finish this entire thing in one go. We have a regular strike. Looks like the first strike costs two and the repetitive ones cost one each. I, I really don't understand, um, I, like, I'm trying to figure out in my head the philosophy on making the characters feel different in the first place. Like, if he played exactly like Shovel Knight, would that even be a big deal? Like, <laughs> just have more Shovel Knight. I know they want to make him different, but shoulder check as a primary move is not working. It caused them to create a bunch of awkward platforming because he works that way. It's not a... If it costs mana, they would have had a restriction they would have had to work around where they can't just make you do it all the time. And then they wouldn't have been able to design every single stage around it. Yo, Andy, what's up? We're trying this out. It's trying me out. I guess I'll get my health up. Ten Vigor. Oh, that's... it's mana. Well, you can't dash in the air more than once. I think the, uh, I think the lack of, uh, movement tech is pretty severe, actually. move that's just punch <laughs> for mana but well, I got this great hammer it heals it beats the health out of them it's great
We gotta go get the alternate path here. No obstacle. <laughs> What's this? Now what do I do? There we go. Why do I need that? Come here. I'm riding forward, all right. Takes a while. Takes a long while. But we're out of there, all right. Bonus. Oh, we can kill the ghosts now. He doesn't know that this isn't hard more key. Well, whatever. I guess he's canonically really dumb, so that's fine. Unless it is probably more key, but I'm canonically dumb, which is also true. I mean, we already did what I thought was probably more key. It was pretty clear to me that we did that. Oh well.
Now, bonus. Oh, a new feller. Oh no. Where's my hammer? Pop. Pop. I'm out of hammer juice. Hate it when I'm out of hammer juice. I got spiky shoes. Oh, that's, you don't have anything to say? He just leaves? Alright. Hey. Restore health and vigor for 25 seconds. E tank. Actually, it's probably more like the awful rush item in 8. Yeah. Unfortunately, Mega Man 8 decided that that was how you would heal mid battle. Uh, just having rush drop things from the sky and they may not be healing items at all. I think I'm all done with this world. No, there's one more. And then we gotta go play cards, uh, <laughs> uh, great. This is the jam. Well, the cards are locking up my icons for my upgrades, so I would like to go get them. But I need to beat the Black Knight at his own game. Just so I can have that item. I like items. Oh. That's a pretty handy pile of money. It's not like a ridiculous sum though, it's not like I really need 350. I lost more than that back when I was having trouble getting the jump. Breaking in Shovel Knight, because they give you a heap ton of money in that. And uh, you don't really need them, they give you a bunch of extra ones. In this one, there's only <laughs> there's only the one, that's it. That's pretty much the only one in this whole level. I did not see my missing badge, I must just not be seeing it.
Hey. It's this dude who uh, has better cards than me, it's cool. Cool and exciting how he's just better than me. Hmm. dead. Oh, come on. <laughs> Ugh, the Black Knight card is mean. The cheating cards are super good. Like, they just. They don't really care. About the rules. How come I can't have one that goes up? <laughs> Jeez. Ugh. Games over again. Like, we get such bad cards all the time in this. I just need the better deck, and then I maybe can play this at all. I don't think I have any moves. I don't even see anything. There must be something somewhere, or they wouldn't let me go, right? I can't play this one here. I guess I can. Why? Shouldn't he be fighting me? That wasn't sumo gold armor though. Oh, I see. Can I just not have these in the deck? It seriously would be better, yeah. I just not have them. Nope. Reinforced to have a bad deck.
Joustus is badly balanced. It's just lousy. I hate it. It's got all the worst elements of the Tetra Master game. And not really any of the good ones. We still have to do this puzzle up here, which I don't know if it's random or preset. That's true, I guess it doesn't have FF9's random stats. <laughs> that wasn't very good. I feel like the big problem with this is, um... I don't feel like I have any strategy, really. Um, because we have a huge deck, both of us do. 16 cards? I don't even know what he's got. Um, and... We just have to throw him down at the start here, like, what? what's my first move? Like, that kind of stuff matters in 14's Tetra Master, which I actually enjoy. Um, and I was pretty good at that one. That one has strategy to it, and this one really doesn't. It, this one's just gonna be like, do you have good cards? And did they come out at the right time? I don't think this is random. I think I need to solve this weird puzzle, so... He's gonna counter me with the same move. Yeah, 14's big problem, I don't know what Ace is like, I've never played it, but 14's big problem is all drop for winning off of the NPCs. Like, collecting the cards to build your deck is the problem. It's got MMO troubles with that regard. It gives you something to collect, but um, until you have a pretty sizable number of them, you're not even allowed to use good cards. Like, your deck's automatically bad until you have, like, 60 cards. You need to collect enough that you're allowed to use the good cards more than once in your deck. Which is super unfair. I think this is gonna lose. So I don't think that's the move. Okay, well, he just decided it was. I don't know why. I guess he can't knock it down. I feel like I would have seen that move if it was that easy before, but I guess not. Okay. I don't feel like I'm gonna get my uh, token here. Yeah, this one's busy. That's the only one that makes any sense. Okay, that's enough of that. I, I This game's probably not that bad of a card game uh, as I feel like it is. But I really didn't want to play a card game when I loaded this up, so that's part of the problem is it just doesn't fit at all with the action that we're supposed to be doing. For me, anyway. I think it kills the pace completely. It just completely murders it. As we get sucked into a completely different place to play some cards. And yeah, you can skip it, but I've already encountered um, not being able to buy upgrades because I can't get the cards. I mean, I would be down four tokens. That's not a lot, but um, it's enough that I wouldn't have all the sub weapons at this point, and that would annoy me. Oh.
Like, there's a tangible reward for playing it. You can't just, uh... Okay, this is how that works. I missed a badge up there, probably. I'm gonna start moving a little faster. I think I was probably meant to go left further there. Oh well. I missed an alternate path also. Ugh. <laughs> oh jeez. Well it's not the option, they're just boss fights. Oh, uh, they don't actually want to play cards. Damn. I'm struggling to get the sub-weapons unlocked. Yeah, I didn't really have the option to skip it. It was to skip. I think King Knight is aware that he can't win. Based on what he said to that kid earlier. He's just a liar and he knows it. Like, he's not dumb. Entirely dumb. Yeah, that works way better than Dash on these guys. Now's a good time to actually use the gauntlet. It's like, yeah, these guys uh, disappear.
<laughs> Sub weapons are pretty good. Mostly. I'm satisfied with them. There's a couple stinkers in there, though. Ah, that's too bad. That's a lot. Man, that's a lot of money lost, too. I don't know if I can get it back. We'll see. I wonder if I'm allowed to use my sub weapons to collect. sure how to um, not die here. <laughs> yeah. Shit. I don't really understand. I made it through the first time, but I don't remember what I did. That sucks. Losing all that money again is annoying. It takes so much. I think it was okay in Shovel Knight because you really didn't need money. Uh, I think what I did was, um, I just dashed across here. That's a ticket. Yeah, you really didn't need money in Shovel Knight because what were you going to buy? Dynamo armor and that's it? God. I got to watch out for that. I forgot about that mechanic. I'm having trouble with this exit. Anyway, I've lost like seven grand. <laughs> this is just an upgrade taken away from me, and um, it's a, it's one of those things where it's like, oh, you're having trouble. Well, how about we make you have more trouble, asshole? Um, kind of systems where they take your souls away. Uh, they take your money. They take away your ability to get a hard upgrade. Is basically what they've done at this point, point. Uh, and that's it. Okay, so we're just not gonna use our abilities here. So bad news. I don't know what to do. Eh, slipped. I need to do a regular dash over there. One of the troubles with relying on air dash in the stage design has been calculating, you know, the distance that you were going to jump. It's not been too bad, mostly. It's not been too precise. But now we have to worry about landing and spin. And you have to be paying real close attention because um, if you forget that these rocks are going to kill you, you're done. They're going to get you. Oh my god. <laughs> and those dudes. I probably should just kill them. Ugh, this exit's... Uh, this exit's gonna be the last thing I do in the game today. It's how annoying it is. Like, it's just dreadful. So what should I play instead of King Knight's awful quest?
just gonna take that enemy out. I wasn't sure if I needed to like bounce off of him, but I think I'll, I'll be happier when it's gone. Um, I'm waiting to do, uh, William Reards until I get my camera set up again. The way that enemy doesn't care and just chases sucks a lot. Balto's big bounce. Yeah, I mean, I can see Shovel Knight's regular charm in this, but I've played Shovel Knight already, so it doesn't mean as much to me. So this just feels like a worse version of that game. I really don't like this. I'll probably finish it over like three sessions because it's just too long. I'm, I'm disgusted with it. <laughs> like, I don't want to play it anymore. It's really burned me out fast. So I think that there's probably only going to be like a three hour campaign, but I just, uh, two hours of it is enough for me. I wanted to see what this level was, was a bonus or something, but it looks like it's just a regular level. I'm almost through it now, so might as well finish it. Ugh. There you are. I need this out. <laughs> this will save me trouble here, I bet. Uh, my, my beetle is very fast. It has left the building. Oh, there you are. I didn't have my dash. I thought I did. I mashed it and um, it got taken away from me. I forgot how the mechanic worked where I only get the one. I've been playing so much Mega Man lately, and you know, Mega Man X can just climb up the wall. So that's why I keep in my head, I keep thinking maybe, maybe that's why I keep thinking I can just multiple dash into the wall and get another one for free. Obviously not the case. Gotta land first to get it. Why are there spikes? Ugh. Oh my god. <laughs> what is this? Okay, so the beetle now cares about the edge of the screen. Let's go. Beetle. I've died enough in this room, please. Can we can we move forward now, hey?
They tried real hard to get me that last time. Yeah, this is Kickstarter content, um, so it was paid for, it's not free. It was a stretch goal. That'll do, <laughs> that's enough for me. I figure I'm about halfway through the game. Uh, maybe 40% or so, just based on the maps. Next time I'll beat the rest of these, I guess, on screen, and then we'll probably need a third session, unless I'm really feeling it all of a sudden to do the rest of this. What's up, Psych? Thank you for the host. I'm about to play some eyes. Would you care to join me for co-op, Isaac? After just finishing your game? Actually, I might do some TKO. I'm not sure. I'm deciding. Because uh, I was expecting to play this for four hours, but I think I'd go nuts. It's only been two. Isaac is always good, I don't know about that. I want to remind myself what Showdown is, real quick. This does have AI mode. No, it doesn't. I can only give three AIs, but yeah, that's, that's probably okay. We'll see. It's a little clunky, but that doesn't really matter. It's doable. <laughs> Don't put your money on Shovel Knight's uh, girlfriend. Well, I'm just gonna do this, and if you get shoveled, it's your own fault. Who's missing from the playable list? Can't beat the snow. <laughs> I spent a lot of time on this mode. I, it sounds like uh, I've never even heard of it, except for what I've seen of it.
Yeah, I'll take a cheat code for that. Why aren't they all unlocked already? Do what? Okay. What a story. I guess this is... Okay, there's everybody. Welcome, friends. Just like a fighter campaign? They really like this guy. <laughs> I was in there twice. Liquid Samurai. Boss me. Are they just... Are they just three moves? I guess is what I'm not sure about. Oh, we got a ledge guarded. Well, this map's probably not the greatest choice for a four-person battle. Or a three- or two-person battle, either. I'm not sure why I'm not allowed to do my yell move. There must be some kind of mana system somewhere. Egg. Um, I basically wanted to see if AI Arena was good for this mode when I loaded up too, it was another thing. I'm not sure. I guess it would be okay, in the same way that Spelunky's is okay. Maybe I'll play Spelunky here in a minute. <laughs> uh, it's kind of hectic and hard to watch. I would probably do it like three rounds. It seems like a very fleshed out feature, uh, and so does this challenge mode too, for that matter. I don't think I want to play Splunky 2. I was thinking I'd play Splunky 1. 
so you can pull off the hell run. Spelunky HD. Gotta get the capture up there. Best thing about this game is my boy! He's back. That in the gameplay. But you know. And the enemies. That skeleton got me twice, actually. I could use some practice in this game. Wow, those are hard to see. I need to get my head back into it. Sorry, Carl. It's too bad we don't have the Spelunky Death Roulette. I wonder if we can get that remade. I wonder if I can find a programmer to help me out with that. We'll bring it back and put games on it. I keep making my programmers uh, <laughs> bother with my weird projects. They're nice enough to help me out, and then I, uh, I get carried away with my ideas. I can't do it with channel points because I, um, I'm not allowed to like give channel points out. So the, there can't be, like, you're allowed to bet on it with Twitch's in-game system, and that's it. I can't, um, I can't just be like, yeah, I'm just gonna give 5,000 channel points to the winner kind of thing. All I could do is fake points that are completely useless in, in any other way, other than to measure who's in charge of the board. That was pretty good. I thought I, I messed up the bomb there for a second. Ace bomb. I am not a programmer. Neither am I a graphic designer. Um, that doesn't mean I can't get it done. I think I'm gonna go shopping. That stuff looks real good. At least these. Maybe not the rest of it. The cape is tempting, but I can get a cape for free much more easily than blowing it here. I don't think I've ever played Splunky Classic. Should I load that up? the key. That's also not great. I didn't need to do that. Oh well.
I think that that's gonna be it. <laughs> I think that this section's done. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I can get some more money. I'm trying not to rob the store. I feel like that's a cheap way to go. That, that, that's speedrunner stuff. It's certainly not hard to do. And I don't think the shopkeepers bother me much anymore, but... Even so. I, I'm just gonna try not to kill the shopkeepers. It's just like kind of a challenge mode of sorts. Unless I absolutely have to. Because robbing the store, getting the free shotguns, and getting every item in the store is actually much easier than just... Oh man. Than just buying what you can afford. The money you've earned. And I'm not. I'm also not going to grind money. I'm not going to like make diamonds. We have our limitation in form of that, and that's it. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Splunky too. I tried really hard to enjoy Splunky 2. <laughs> it did not pan out. This run's going better for me so far. I didn't die instantly. Run number two, could this be the one? I got the key already. There's another pup. Rocking that health. I'm out of bombs, and that sucks a lot. I kind of need some of the runs ruined, and they keep giving me ropes. That's not good. I have to have bombs. Uh, our work's screwed here. I would say the biggest flaw in Splunky 1 is that I'm going to need bombs for this mission that I'm on. Which is to get into the final stage. And it is here, so I need to find some now or I've just lost. I just have failed. And that sucks. Because I, I don't feel like I should have been forced to fail. It may be waste bombs to get out after grabbing the key. I should have used ropes instead. Uh, there might be... No, there's not going to be any. It's over. Run's dead. Yep, run truly is. There was, that was I saw that box. It was shiny and was nothing. That's unfortunate, because that was feeling pretty good. But I was worried about my bomb count. That's why I always invest in bombs. <laughs> Sticky bombs and just bombs in general are super important. I should not have done that. Oh well. More ropes. Snakes. Snake Pit solves my bomb problem because the Matic is worth a million bombs. It's also worth a ton of money. It's like incredible value. It's a jetpack in the store, but there's no way I'm going to get that much money. Maybe actually with the Matic I could, but it seems unlikely. 
even then. The key's here, the dog's here, everything's in this stage. I'm not going to steal it, because I'm not going to cheat um, this time, this way. It would be very easy to just take that jetpack and probably win the whole game. It wouldn't be a big deal. Looks like I can't afford it, so we're all set. Now I need to get the money back. that one very well. Nice. Bombs. Red gems are worth the most. Then blue, then green, and then the gold bars are next. I think. gonna get to keep the jetpack I don't I don't know actually we might I can't really remember I think we do if I die in the right way yeah that's what it is if I die in a way that's acceptable I'm allowed to keep it I gotta fall off the cliff no getting crushed plenty of money already. I need um, 50 grand and then any more money I have can be used to buy bombs but I'm pretty sad. Like I would like to buy paste. Hey pup. Excuse me. store. That's the shop for me. <laughs> okay. Now I'm questioning, can I get that idol? Maybe, maybe I can before it destroys the store. Um, probably. Might be worth the try, I'm not sure. If I get it to roll left and chase me, I probably could be out the door before it really does any damage to the store. I'll lose my Matic. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it up. It's probably almost broken at this point. Like I said, I'm not really scared of the shopkeepers. I got, <laughs> I got held up there <laughs> a little bit. Oh, 
That's money. I got a lot of bombs. I'm gonna convert them into cash. It's worth it if I uh, if I can get at least a red. It's definitely worth it in that case. good okay, with 50 grand I have enough to buy the thing and I uh, don't have to worry too much <laughs> I don't think I want that I think I'm okay without that dog. Splunky 2 introduced the forgiveness system this game doesn't really have. Um, the shopkeepers, that I think is pretty swell. It's one of his good changes. So I gotta be careful around that dude. Uh, it's, it's possible, it's not even unlikely that I'll just walk on the stage and the shopkeeper will be permanently mad for no reason. Kind of a pain in the ass. Why would they forget the forgiveness system? That's interesting. I didn't see it beep, so I think I'm good. I'm being careful not to miss it. Let's collect some cash and head on in. I've got nine bombs left. I don't need them anymore though, they're not mandatory anymore, they're just for my own enjoyment of having bombs at this point, so now that the gate's open, this run is going way better in terms of that. I'll be buying more bombs anyway, because I like to have them. What's that? Ropes. Don't need those. Does this game have bear traps, or is that a joyful Splunky 2 edition? Because I feel like it is. Just in Splunky 2. <laughs> and I don't need to worry so much about that. A trap that I can extremely not see instantly killing me. I don't think that's here. I was thinking about it, and then I realized I don't need to worry about it at all. Let's head on in. As far as things go, this is really the last stage where I really care if the shopkeepers are mad at me in, in like a real way. They don't bother me much in any other stage. Oh, nice plant. Nice compass, nice bomb bag. 
That's what I'm talking about. Let's buy this. And we have 15 grand to buy one more bomb bag, maybe. There it is. Oh shit. He's dangerous. It's a well guarded store. That's gonna be it. I wouldn't mind buying even more bombs if I can find a little cash right now. We're getting a bargain. In terms of bombs to gems ratio, we're getting a lot of money saved. Ah! I don't really need cash after this at all. Might as well get that last bag. Things are looking real good. They're looking about as good as they can. I can't bring the shotgun with me, so no, I don't really want it. This is, I, I would take it if it were free. But like, it's not really worth it to buy it or try and hang on to it even. Not yet anyway. It certainly is nice in the end, but uh, I would have to put it down in the ice cave, so. I don't want that. Sorry, Pop. It had to happen. Okay, Sector 3 already nice. It's going well. My box. Give me info. The dog has eaten the worm, as you can see. He's fine. Uh-oh. Well, I got spike shoes, so yeah, not too bad with those fellas. I'll be using ropes on the other one though. <laughs> Not really interested in messing with them. The store. Oh well, whatever. Okay, we want to take a death on this floor. Somehow. But not crushed.
I should have a completed journal. I think so. All right, everything is still good as we go into four dash uh, three dash four. The only thing really missing that would be nice is the cup, which is certainly not mandatory at all, but it would sure be nice. And if I see another Kali out there, I can probably get it. Nothing there for me. I never really understood why the shopkeepers are in the wall like that. I guess it's just some thing for people who are going for the money run. I, it doesn't make any sense otherwise, because even if you if you get even close to them, they'll kill you. And then, I don't know. I don't like it. And if they don't kill you, they'll um, they'll be permanently mad. Shopkeep angry forever mode. This is a bit cramped. Okay, that's not great. I'm just gonna clear this out and uh, I'd rather use my bombs than die like a dope trying to get rid of Osiris. Hopefully that scepter is okay. I think it landed in lava. But I think it might be lava proof. I hope it is. Yeah. Okay. I'm all set. I was worried about that. I couldn't remember. We need this. too far. Hey now, what's all that? I'm greedy. All this great stuff over here. Oh, it's this trap. All that for three ropes. There's another box to the left, but like, who cares? Let's just let's freaking go. This temple is like a shadow of what it is in Spunky 2 in terms of ridiculous. Uh, there's really nothing here that's scary compared to that, except for the Thwompers. Oh, that was close, actually. We won't talk too soon. Yeah, get him. Yeah, mess him up. Yeah. I'm still looking for that Kali author, but it's not here. It's just not showing up. I don't see one, so I think I'm just gonna leave. It's like the only thing I'm really looking out for at all. Alright, well, we don't have a truckload of HP or anything, but that's alright, probably. Probably. I was worried that thing would come after me again, and it, it kind of is in the way. Yeah.
They're hard to see in this level. And they are instant death. Yeah, you can uh, you can eat the juice from the mummies to get your HP up. Mummy juice. <laughs> Why? I don't have another name for mummy juice. That's what it is. It's the goop that comes off of their spit. It counts as blood. We are rocking 22 bombs, that's pretty nice. Enough to get me through a lot. I'll just dig down. Get the money, get that big score. Well, get that medium score. 160 grand is not very much. Uh, so right below me, according to the book, and the reason we did all that fetching is that indication. This is the line right here. So I need to um, get old mech out of my way. Or use old mech. Whatever. I tend to just bomb it because I'm lazy. And he can be dangerous if he feels like being dangerous. I'm doing that. That frog's a better hopper than you. Still alive. Well, you hate to see that. He didn't crush the blocks. So I guess something was in the way. I think he hit a... Really? I thought he hit an exploding frog. I guess not. What a jerk. Come on, Olmec. You can't possibly do it one more time. question is, is that the real pup? And I think it actually is. <laughs> well, we have a fake dog here, folks. Unbelievable. That is the real pup. I figured it was. I hit it for no reason. I'm a big jerk. Maybe it will survive. Well, you saw what happened. Um, let's make it interesting. Will that pup get out of here? <laughs> Alive? Yes. No. Yes, I'll save it. You have one minute.
What's down the tower? That's the question. Other than 50 vampires. The tower is probably easier to get through than uh, the rest of this area with my bombs. 2% say I can save the dog. It's possible the dog is already dead. <laughs> I have nothing to play. Dang. Let's see what happens. Sorry, folks. He's gone too far. He just wouldn't stop walking. Whoa. That was dangerous. Good thing I'm fireproof and that makes me immune to pots also. The, the fire immunity item is incredibly good. It's so good. Extremely greedy, going after money for no reason at all. <laughs> the true dog is on the left. Fake dog has died for their sins. Wow, what a mess. I think Dracula's mad. Yeah, but they give you the fire immunity at the start of hell, and once you get it, this area is not, in my opinion, as dangerous as the temple. For that matter, I have the most trouble surviving the first area, usually, just because I'm going through it recklessly and don't have any upgrades. That might be worth a bomb, just the shortcut there. Well. Okay. It's a bit pissy. I didn't finish King Knight. It was annoying me. I'll finish it later. I'll definitely finish it. For some reason, the bomb box is lava proof. And so am I. So we have a boss here who is just like 
very unhappy to see us. We are really gonna mess him up big time. I guess the fight's already over. Hey, shotgun. Who needs that? We got this. That didn't work. Let's try again and do better. <laughs> oh boy. Game's out to get me. Gamer reflex is coming in. Hot. We got some nice pictures. Got a lot of money. I love the cheesy and it's just the crappiest jingle for all that work. We can't even buy a house with this much money in 2021. This sucks. We'll play a uh, run of Isaac as well here for an hour. I hate to stream for less than four hours, is the thing. I'm probably going to be online tomorrow instead of my day off. I'm going to rotate it with Wednesday. So thank you for the sub, the prime. Gonna queue up some mystery triathlon matches for Friday and Saturday and maybe tomorrow. And um Wednesday I'll be offline and I think Thursday, starting early, I'm gonna do another 16 hour Mega Man damage shuffler. 16, 17 hours. And um stretch goals are on. If we hit any of those, um that content will be added next week. And also I need to post the the vote for subs and patrons to vote on for what game we're going to do this month. If you scroll down on my channel page right here, you'll see a scheduler that is pretty accurate. I need to do an update if I am going to rotate those two days. But um, you can always check that and my Twitter to see what's going on.
Yeah. Yeah. That went well. <laughs> Two tries to get that win. That's pretty good. Man, I should load Banner Lord up at some point. Are people interested in watching that? I'm interested in playing it some more. I bet it has all kinds of expansions on its content. I need to do a Bethany run across the board. Let's do it. Anything with Bethany would be good. I don't really understand what's going on with this. That's cool. Do I get curse immunity until I lose that, that fire? Is that what that is? Because that's way better than what she usually does. <laughs> I just happened to roll a good one. Now I don't want to get hit at all. It's gonna be impossible to protect it though. Yeah, this is Tainted Bethany. I don't think much of Bethany because I don't really like the orbitals and I don't like not being able to get soul hearts. This, uh, this is the opposite, so we can't get red hearts, it seems like, which is, you know, fine. Fine with that. It's perfectly good. And if they're going to give me real items, that's even better. your shot and tears up man i'm really gonna miss these when they go <laughs> when i get hit and they die i'm gonna be sad Fear shots making monster do weird stuff. Uh, what kind of run should I do? Just chest? That sounds good. I'll spend an hour doing it too. Ten flies. I don't like that. That's mean. Tear rate up at least. My damage is really suffering right now. <laughs> I can barely kill the spiders. We have machine gun tears at the moment, just loser tears that shoot real fast. Yeah, so I guess if I fill that book up, I just get a random item until I lose the shield that it generates, and then the item probably destroys and is deleted forever from the run. Probably won't be able to find it again either. I bet it's gone both ways. Wow! Kill it! 
What the heck? This damage isn't too hot. Regular Bethany gets a bunch of wisps that shoot bullets and they stack. You can get a whole bunch at once, but they are very fragile and they don't scale very well if they do at all, and they just suck. And she pays a huge price for that feature, it's just lousy. I guess the book merges with other items to do weird stuff with them, but even then, it's still lousy. I am very unimpressed with Bethany. do that. I mean, why not? Just stop watch. That's super nice. I'll take a bomb too, thanks. Now we've ruined the soundtrack. Oh, she can use her hearts to charge spacebar items as well as this book. I have a reason to move quickly if I can. Um, I need to do the boss rush and shit. I will if I can get there, but I don't think that's gonna happen. We don't seem to do enough damage. I don't have any mapping. I spent a lot of time just getting this far. I'm practically bulletproof with all my shields. Like, I shouldn't have taken that hit, but... I still haven't taken damage because of them. Do hey Python, thanks for this. Wish I could get better damage faster. The stapler was a nice find, but it's temporary. Oh. Nice. More temporary damage. The damage is actually pretty decent now at five. With all this tears. But I'm not going to be able to keep it that way. I don't want that pill. <laughs> I think I'll lose stats at this point, probably, rather than gain them. 
I feel like I have a lot to lose and little to gain out of the pills this time. do this is a uh, this is gonna give me black hearts instead of red hearts now whenever I want Yo, thanks for the sub. Oregon, thank you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wisps, what a cheater. Ridiculous. This is not very easy to dodge with this. That's bad. Hey, Loon. Thanks for the host. We're just running through some Isaac. Welcome, everybody. I don't like that. Um, Explosivo on demand is one thing, but random is even worse. Yeah, I'm still working on challenges. Thanks for the sub. Anyway, welcome everybody from Lou's channel. How are you doing? Any challenges left unearned? We're doing a little Isaac run here. I have nine minutes to get to the boss rush if I'd like to do it. I think I might be able to make it happen. We're speeding up. Oh. I better eat that. Just so I know. Yeah, because we're getting this guy dropping me pills a lot. trying to figure out what my cap is for red hearts it's probably it probably exists it's probably 10 but I currently haven't hit it so that's interesting we can hold quite a few Ninety-nine. Oh, I lost one of my things it was damage oh geez my damage this room really messed me up Dark Bomb's here to uh, be a jerk. I don't actually want him. I guess the exchange rate is better than paying red hearts for black hearts on the uh, opera. But even so, he's kind of in the way of my gimmick. I'm not going to let him have any. I feel like I can just guarantee blue hearts whenever I want with, with this current setup. So if I just get enough... Red hearts, I'm all set. Seven minutes to do the rest of this floor in the next two. I should have used the first, damn.
Tier height is a very uninteresting stat for you. It's really more for the enemies. You can run under some of their shots, like Monstro. He has tier height on his stuff. And you can just dodge him by going underneath the shots, because their tier height is very high. Ipecac has tier height. It makes a lot more sense in the FPS version of this game, actually. Which exists, and I played. It's a mod. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it certainly was not good to look at, but it was the thing that existed. It was playable. Frame rate was pretty bad. I mean, I guess I must take it, but pretty lousy. That's cool. I wasn't sure if I wanted that, but now that I'm reading the description, hell yeah, I do. You better hurry. We just get flight. If I want to make the boss rush, I gotta move it. But uh, I don't feel like I have the damage capacity to get there in this time limit. This time frame, it's really tight. I need the floor to go by quickly. We're just not doing anything special for damage. I'm just tanky. I'm just unkillable, that's all. Actually indestructible here. But I, I'm not gonna get my task done. I'm just not fast enough. My stuff got blown up. Oh man. Whatever. Attack fly is pretty cool. Um, four soul hearts. I'll just use it. I don't want to drop my Bible, so. There's like no way. <laughs> That's three minutes to do both these floors. I'm just not finding the exit on this one. Maybe if the next one's really generous, but I just don't see it. Oh my, what's that? Hey, the 1% chance? No, 21%. I skipped an item room. I don't remember doing that. Well, I could probably make Hush, if not the boss rush. I probably shouldn't try to do both of them in one run anyway, because it's time-consuming. Another one of these things. These are really gross time-waster enemies. Four of them!
I gotta find the secret room and I don't have any bombs. So that's not gonna be very helpful. I'm doing it. That didn't really change me up much, in my opinion. I think I got mm, a little bit worse, just a little bit. Still didn't get any dang bombs. I was hoping it would speed me up, but it didn't. And it also didn't rotate my um, candle items. Oh, that's beautiful. It rolled Luna though, didn't it? Into something else. I don't recognize what it rolled into. It's that bullseye looking thing. Might as well check the secret room because we're definitely not getting the boss rush. It's already too late. Yeah, it's a planetarium item. It's the third item in my list there. You can see it. I don't know what it is. Still my heart and dropped a spider on my head. What a jerk. These two are uh, messing each other up. Oh, it's that crappy one. That sucks. All we get is a boost after we finish the floor. That's terrible. It's like the worst one. Oh, man, we got this. Oh, this is bad, too. <laughs> uh, oh, I didn't see you there. That sucks. Oh, man, he stole my money. I can't even buy the item. That sucks. Gross. Little fellow's hiding there, taking my cash. This will help me skip the floor. I think I'll do it. I think I'll do it on the womb if I must. Womb one would be skipped. And I could, uh... Possibly... Get some... Hush battle going on at that point. Which is gonna be hard to lose. Because I have 12 hearts. Well, not anymore, but I did. I don't know where all my keys went. Maybe they got shuffled too. Damn. Keys. Need that flight back.
Ugh. They're really not going to give me a single key. Wow. I'm getting slaughtered by the RNG. Merciless. There's like no chance at all to get one now. I can go to the the gamble den and hope. Doesn't help that I have Guppy's tail taking opportunities away, but that's not why. That'll get me into the super secret room. <laughs> okay, can we have this one? Of course not. And you actually hit me somehow. What a bastard. That sounds great. I know there was a, there was an MMO of some kind, maybe it was called CRPG for, for Mountain Blade 2, oh, uh, Warband, I never played it, and that sounds like what you're describing, in terms of MMO, I can't believe that I'm not going to get a single key out of this. 20 bucks. Come on. What the hell? My chance to get Hush is gonna be mandatory skipping room one now. This sucks. Come on. We're losing way too much. Why is the RNG like this right now? And then he stole my heart. Now you get my prize. There. At last. I'm definitely interested in co-op banner lord all day long. My, <laughs> my book is back. Hey! Um, well, I'll take this, and we'll just go with this. Super secret room. Are you worth the one bomb I've got left? What are, what are you? Never seen you before, I don't think. Thanks. I think I killed my little fellows. Yeah, she definitely stepped on one there. I don't feel like I have any really powerful ones. Like, just damage up straight is like what I care about the most, and that's pretty lame. It's not like I have some godhead or something on the man. Just didn't get very good items this run, that's all. Character's pretty good compared to what she was before. Definitely an upgrade. Gotta go hurry, though. I don't have any money, so this is useless. 
sucks to say, because, I mean, I was excited when I saw that that was that. Oh, we got double shot. But uh, it's not any good if you don't have any money. And for that matter, neither will Hush be. Why would I bomb the angel for? Oh, I wasn't planning on doing that run. I guess I could. Finally got a good item out of the pool of book items. So it can it's just pulling randomly. And I, I think the value of this character is gonna be you just have three hundred more items than you're supposed to have because your book is just throwing them at you. Just absolutely. I think I'd be in a lot of trouble if I wasn't on this character right now, because I probably would have a pretty lame build. But instead I have like five shields and monster's lung, and I'm not supposed to have it. dare you put those spikes back up. to it. That's my heart. I did not make it to Hush. I skipped the boss for no reason. That's alright. It is what it is. I'll do the stand run if I can get another angel room. But uh, this is probably the last chance. Fair odds. But it is the last chance. Oh no! It's gonna be hard to save my friends from this boss. Yeah, we're surrounded. Not good. My monster's lung is still okay. <laughs> I don't like that. Can we? I think I'm gonna throw monster's lung away just to get rid of blood oath. Where is it? I see it on the end there. I think I popped it. 
think I'm good. I'm satisfied. Oh, I definitely did now. I lost everything. We've been reset by mom. Oh, I have left this double shot. It's so hard to protect them. Ugh. I don't trust it. I don't remember exactly how Blood Oath works. It might do nothing. It might set me to one health. All I know is I don't like the item. I don't want it. It's made me lose before. It's never made me win. I thought I was supposed to get a choice, but I guess I re-rolled that. So we will not get our angel room. Unless I find a joker card. Or dad's key. I have money now, I can go shopping. Oh, Alright, well I win. Good game, everybody. Love to see it. Here it is. I forgot I had the ladder, so there's my angel room, too. Pierce up. This sucks. <laughs> He's being guarded by the shield guy. I gotta wait for him to pick up the vase so I can kill him. Wow. There's a spider in the pot also immortalized by this dude. I should have let him throw that, I guess, but I got bombs. We'll get in. Might as well take this. Oh, what? What was that? What? There. Hey, who's doing that? I don't like that. Crack the sky is not not great. I can see forever. That's actually useful for me. We're really strong all of a sudden. The cathedral paid off big time with Sacred Heart and all this other junk. Game turned around real fast up here. Multi-dimensional baby, double shots. A 
full stack of black cards. That's going to be a stat up to speed, unfortunately. I was hoping it would be tier rate again, but um, we've upgraded that so much that no chance. Should have saved that one. Should not have wasted that. Little bit of useless flight right at the end. Sounds good. friends. We just got the whole map and some kind of form. I didn't see what it was. I'm not actually sure what it would be. Bookworm probably. Doc, thank you for the sub. The four years of sub. Uh, in my normal fashion, I'm not actually going to go after the boss. I guess I should. I get the big boost for it. Might as well try and use that. But normally I go after it last. Let's go after him first. There's a reason to now. damage up, but it's going to be annoying. I'm going to deal with it because I like damage too much and we multiply it so much. It's worth it to me. Spawns a pushable TNT barrel. That's okay. Ah, the boss is up there. Cool. I actually know exactly where he is. If the stopwatch kicks in on the stand fight, I don't see how I could possibly lose. What do you think, folks? <laughs> I uh, don't know about that. Maybe, maybe that's wise. I have piercing tears. I think it's wise. Whoa. Well, we gotta do it now, cause we got William your shots. I mean, that's cool and all, but like, 
how about this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get him with the reds. They shove too, for good measure. And home. Of course they're homing. Don't forget that. They also tra chase the tracker homing balls. Now we got the soul power up so we can go mess up the rest of this floor with a furious bunch of power. Whoops. That was close. Oh, he got me. Damage up for every enemy kill is going to be big on the final boss. That's just going to be on. I mean, we're going to kill a bunch of enemies. Spawns a bone orbital for every enemy kill. This is also going to be cool. I'll, um, I'll carry this around for now. And in case I don't have full health when I get to it. One heart's not worth the skeleton brigade. Here's bounce off the floor. <laughs> Why? Is that right? Do they still bounce? Let's see that. I want to see the, the bounce if it happens here. Nice. Yeah, this run was pretty boring until we got to the the top end here, and now it's pulling together, huh? <laughs> the celebration tears when I leave the room is a party and a half. I'm really big on the idea of my tears celebrating. There's the infinity keys, a little late, but I'm actually able to open up everything anyway, so we're good. That's gonna be it. We are out of prizes, so it's time to go get our thing, our skeleton maker. Also, there's a heart over here. It's not enough to get like a bonus skeleton. I thought there was a way to loop, but I haven't ever been asked to. I could have sworn there was a way to just, would you like to do a victory lap? And then you say yes. But I've never seen that. Dark room path only, why? That's such a strange choice. I never go down there, but that makes me want to. I don't know, something about the victory lap sounds boring though, for some reason. Even though it's this, but more. Hey, what's up, boss? I don't know if we still have the soul effect on. I don't think we do. Maybe we do. That would be nice. I kind of doubt it though. Hey, what's up up there? Nuclear throned. Bone time. <laughs> we got one skeleton. And a whole bunch of bones around us. You can see them there in the mess if you look really close. A whole bunch of bones, like an entire skeleton surrounding us as well.
Well, my skeleton's upset about the fight. If I could just get him poisoned, this would be... There we go. <clears throat> oh, hey. Well, that's fortunate. Oh, I can't get the relic. I don't have any money. I spent it all or something. What did I do with it? How do I not have the money? Why can't I pick this up? What the? It's just really hard because of my bone shield. Oh no! Put that down, you doofus! What are you doing? How dare you! We're putting this sword away, don't worry, we can throw it away. I just gotta figure out how. I'm looking for the sword. Icon here. Homing Tears is a cool card to pick up. I see the sword. It's above me right now. It's north. East. It's not a very good enemy for this. Um, west. Again, not a very good enemy for this. I need an enemy that shoots bullets a lot. Hold on. This might be good. Oh, we lost the spin. It was, uh, it was, it was because of the Williams hijinks that it, it doubled up, but I can't get it to reproduce. Where's that sword at now? It's on the right. Yeah! We're back in business. I don't want that. <laughs> uh, anyway. We get the soul effect again. So that's cool. will be incredible. Half of my shots just got upgraded. I don't know what that is. I've never seen whatever that is before. What the hell is that?
Yeah, I'll run into something without knowing what it is and just gamble the whole run. Sure, I will. Oh, okay. I guess that's cool. This costs one coin. What? The useless eye of greed. My money. My useless, useless money. Actually, we seem to be gaining money with it, but that remains to be seen if that's true. I don't think we're gaining money very fast. It's probably going to stop gaining money when I get into the wrong fight. that boss I definitely have the opportunity to get in there with full health here so no problem there I don't like this couldn't protect my friends there I don't have flight. I have guillotine on, so I um, I look like I have flight, but I don't. Got a long way to go yet. Damage. I'm out of keys. Okay, when this eye thing works, it really pays off. But I think it only really works because of my stupid build. This, uh, I don't think this could be delirium either. I think this room's safe to jump into. <laughs> well, hate to see it. I was wrong. It's because it's uh, it does have room for a four here. Looked at it wrong. Delirium's bad day. He was stunned there for like three seconds of just 500 Sacred Heart Billiard Balls. Pounding his skull.
we've already gotten our victory music for some reason. I'll take it. Too bad we don't have Shield of Tears to delete the bullets on top of everything else, because I did lose a couple powers in this fight. Delirium scammed me. I got my money back, though. And my bullets are bouncing in celebration. We ain't done yet. We can, we can get some more. I've unlocked this book for other people, so that's cool. It's in the pool now. I've seen its value. Nothing can really hit me in this character without Brimstone. It needs to be able to pierce through my shield because my shield is always up. And right now I have a double shield because of the bones. But even without that, I have all of those powers. They're very potent. Tiny planet, you love to see that too. All right, now we're in business. The spirit of billiards is with us now. The cyclone of pool. And this is what it looks like. It's like Bethany keeps forgetting how to do her ability, and then she walks in the room and remembers real quick that you just keep on making more enemy orbs. Hey, Isaac. What do you think? Oh boy, a coupon. And a lunch. Our final item. I'm not shooting. I'm just seeing how long it takes to dissipate. <laughs> I, I don't think it's going to. I think it's locked on forever. If I go up here, the bitrate will fix. I wanted to see my orbs hopping again. I guess they're done celebrating. I see that gold coin hop up and down, yeah. That's the stuff, yeah, that's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. Just wanted some celebration. Coin fair and fair. Whoa. What is that? Oh. Gotcha. Well, I guess I'll leave.
<laughs> it took exactly one hour to do all that. I'll take some savings with me. Oh, there's one more heart. We got one more item coming. If I can get to it. Yeah. Thunder thighs. That's too bad. <laughs> well, whatever. How do we do? I don't get the chest victory, it looks like. Is that there? No, I guess it is. I'm not sure. No, it is. I don't remember what some of these icons are. The heart is like the womb. And the cross is the cathedral. I guess the chest is that ugly looking circle box. We're missing uh, Ultra Greed mode. And the Dark Room. And the uh, Mother Fight. Cool. I still have a long way to go here, believe it or not. Look at all those question marks. Especially this page of the new stuff. Well, hey, thanks for joining me for Goofy Isaac uh, and King Knight's quest <laughs> that's incomplete and Spelunky's victory lap there. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow, actually. I think I will be. I'm not going to take the day off tomorrow. I'll figure out something to do. Probably going to do a Mystery Triathlon match or three and um, a little bit more King Knight tomorrow. And then Wednesday I'm going to take off and... Um, I'll see you Thursday for the Mega Man Shuffler. That's my plan. So I'm going to change my calendar down there and get that up. I'm going to host... Um, I want to host over to Chrono Katie playing Golden Sun. Have a good night, everybody.